Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to delve into a riveting topic. How Adolf Hitler and the Nazis almost won World War II. We'll explore the key turning points and strategic decisions that ultimately determined the outcome of the war. So, stay with us until the end to uncover the twists and turns of this monumental conflict. At the onset of World War II, Germany seemed unstoppable. Hitler's military machine, built on the principles of Blitzkrieg or Lightning War, had swiftly conquered much of Europe. By the end of 1940, Germany had occupied Poland, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, the Netherlands, and France. The United Kingdom stood alone against the Nazi onslaught, and Hitler's gaze turned towards the east and the vast territory of the Soviet Union. Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union, began on June 22, 1941. With over three million soldiers, this was the largest invasion in the history of warfare. Initially, the Germans achieved remarkable success, capturing vast territories and inflicting severe casualties on the Red Army. However, the Soviet Union's sheer size and resilience would prove to be critical factors in the outcome of the war. One key turning point was the Battle of Stalingrad, which lasted from August 1942 to February 1943. The Germans sought to capture this strategically vital city on the Volga River, but they underestimated the tenacity and resourcefulness of the Soviet defenders. In brutal urban warfare, both sides suffered enormous casualties. Ultimately, the Soviets encircled and defeated the German Sixth Army, marking the first significant defeat for Hitler's forces and the beginning of their long retreat. While the Eastern Front raged, the tide also began to turn in other theaters of the war. In North Africa, the Axis powers faced defeat at the hands of the British-led allies, culminating in the Second Battle of El Alamein in October 1942. This victory paved the way for the Allies to launch Operation Torch, the invasion of Axis-held North Africa, and later, Operation Overlord, the long-awaited invasion of Nazi-occupied Europe. On June 6, 1944, the largest amphibious invasion in history took place, as the Allies stormed the beaches of Normandy. This operation opened a new front in Western Europe, stretching the already strained German forces even thinner. With the Red Army advancing from the east and the Allies pushing from the west, Hitler's once mighty war machine was steadily crushed between two powerful adversaries. Another significant factor in Hitler's failure to win the war was his own strategic blunders. One of the most infamous was his declaration of war on the United States following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. This decision brought the vast industrial and military might of the United States into the conflict, greatly tipping the balance in favor of the Allies. Additionally, Hitler's fanatical pursuit of a total war and his refusal to accept the reality of the situation led to disastrous decisions and unnecessary losses. As the war dragged on, Hitler's health deteriorated and his decision-making became increasingly erratic, further undermining Germany's ability to fight a multi-front war. In the end, it was the combined efforts of the Allies and the resilience of the Soviet Union that prevented Hitler from achieving victory in World War II. The sacrifices and determination of millions of soldiers and civilians, as well as strategic missteps by the Nazi leadership, turned the tide against the Axis powers. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through history. We hope you enjoyed the video and gained a deeper understanding of the factors that contributed to the outcome of World War II. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. See you in the next video.